This video will show you the procedures of installing the Clock Audio C303WRF. After you've determined the location of the hanging microphone, make a 5 8 of an inch hole through the ceiling material. If you are cutting in a suspended ceiling tile, be sure to cut out the hole at least 3 inches from the tile rails. This will make the positioning of the C303 ceiling box much easier. Now take a minute to identify all the parts included with the C303WRF. First, the installation manual, the tri-element microphone array, the through ceiling cable gland, the safety cable and locking device, and the C303 ceiling enclosure. Unscrew the four screws holding the cover of the ceiling enclosure and remove the breakout cable and the 2.5 meter microphone cable. Disconnect the wires of the microphone cable from the terminal block inside the ceiling enclosure. Next, insert the threaded part of the cable gland through the 5 8 of an inch hole in the ceiling and bottom of the enclosure. Hand tighten the flange nut to secure the enclosure to the ceiling. Connect the tri-element microphone array to the tiny Q connector on the end of the microphone cable. Pass the unterminated end of the cable through the ceiling grommet and set the desired length. Lock the cable in place by turning the cable gland clockwise. Be careful not to over-tighten the nut and damage the cable. Please refer to the C303 manual and reconnect the microphone cable to the terminal block of the ceiling enclosure. Roll up the remainder of the mic cable and leave inside the ceiling enclosure. Replace the cover on the ceiling box using three of the four screws and the supplied eye bolt for the safety cable. Attach the hook of the safety cable to the eye bolt. Insert the other end of the safety cable through one side of the locking device. Loop it around a ceiling truss or any structure capable of supporting 3 kilograms or more and through the other side of the locking device. Connect a regular CAT5E cable or better to the RJ45 port on the side of the ceiling enclosure. Run the cable to the equipment rack and connect it to the supplied breakout cable. Connect the Phoenix connectors to their respective inputs. You might also need to use the DSP or mixer supplied Phoenix connector as they are not all shaped exactly the same. Please refer to the C303 manual and the DSP or audio mixer manual for correct wiring of the audio inputs. Thank you for watching. For more information on the C303WRF or any other Clock Audio product, please refer to our website at www.clockaudio.com.